to be. It's like they they've dealt with combat before, and then they suddenly show up talking to the cameras and witnesses again. I'm not saying that guy isn't isn't who he says he is, but as we're piecing this story together, you have to start red flagging things that seem strange, things that don't add up. Now, we want to pursue this this lead about the chairman of the temple stating that there were a few suspicious men seen on the temple premises. We want to follow this lead about the four men uh, carrying out the attack and why the mainstream media has now gone to the lone gunman theory. Sounds uh, sound familiar? They always do that. JFK shooting and everything else instead of the four men carrying out the attack as was described by a witness. And we also want to follow up on the drill aspect of this. So with that said, I want to go to some calls right now. We've got uh, a police officer, Anonymous, in California. You're on the air on the Alex Jones Show. Go ahead. What do you think about all this? Well, i like to see more evidence. Uh, in law enforcement, we would look to the security cameras that are, uh, you know, supposed to be there for incidents like this. And then we could kind of rule out uh, a lot of speculation. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, but as often happens in these cases, the security footage gets seized. I mean, look at look at 9-11, all the, all the video camera footage from there. It all seized and went into the memory hole. It all disappeared. Uh, do, do you, do you, have you heard anything about drills like this? We only have a few seconds, but go ahead, your comments. Well, first off, the uh, shooter was uh, less than uh, honorably discharged, and he was demoted. So he wasn't really a ball player with the military. All right, good point. Less than honorably uh, discharged, but he was awarded all kinds of medals, uh, which is interesting. We'll get into more background as we return. Stay with us. It is frustrating to have to deal with this rollout of tyranny in America and then to hear it called domestic terrorism. Uh, how, how can they call it domestic terrorism? You know, just just a, a, a random act of violence, even if there were no false flag behind it, even if it were seriously just a, a, a psychotic shooter on psychiatric drugs that was a random act of violence, that's not terrorism. That's just a random act of violence. To be domestic terrorism, it has to be violence that is used to achieve a specific agenda. So then, it is terrorism once you understand the false flag behind it. It is, in essence, uh, agenda-driven terrorism against the people, against our liberties, against our freedoms. But for the mainstream media to call it terrorism and say it's, it's, a, it's a white supremacist or it's a veteran committing terrorism, that is completely false, even just basic, under the basic definitions of logic. It's not, every bad act isn't terrorism. So... Anyway, uh, Alex Jones has just posted a video on YouTube. We're going to go to that right now. It's about two minutes long. Run that video for his analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with breaking information. I knew it. It's always the same. The supposed shooter who's conveniently been killed, notice the police showed up in mass in just minutes with their armored war wagons, was an Army Psychological Operations Specialist or PSYOP Specialist. That's the L.A. Times. They're always doing shooting drills at Sikh temples because right-wing type folks always confuse them as what they think of as Central Asian Al-Qaeda types when they're not even Muslims. It's just amazing. And it's the timing of it, all the anti-gun legislation, the whole nine yards. You've got the chairman of the Sikh temple saying guys were casing it in the days before, weird guys. Multiple witnesses saying four men in black uniforms, multiple shooters, all of that being memory hold. You've got the Batman shooter on psychotropics under a top Air Force psychologist who was over the biggest Air Force base in the U.S. out in San Antonio, moves out there just to be over him. He told them everything he was going to do, but they stood down. Just a drugged up patsy. You can either drug up the patsy as Operation Northwoods breaks down, or you kill him, like Lee Harvey Oswald. This is incredible. This is absolutely amazing that it's this sloppy. When you understand these things, take the 7-7 bombings that came out in Fox News and even London Telegraph that it was run by MI6 through this SWAT gentleman who was MI6. Look at that. Psychological Operations Specialist, Wade Michael Page. Wade Michael Page. This is amazing. Look for more of this. What was it, six, seven years ago, outside Fort Bragg, they were doing secret drills, and they tried to disarm police. Fort Bragg troops did and got killed. You can look that up. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the police or military, do not take part in these drills when they're small because that's when they can set you up and they will kill you or they will electroshock therapy and drug you and have you roll out and say you did it. This is a PSYOP. The timing has certainly got fast and furious. Another admitted staged false flag PSYOP out of the news. Myself and Mike Adams will cover it all today. T-minus about 10 minutes at Infowars.com with a three-hour syndicated radio transmission. All right, the number one warning there from Alex is if you are a member of military or, or law enforcement, do not take part in these drills because you may end up being set up. You may end up being directed to actually take part in a shooting for a specific agenda, a political purpose. So uh, again, Alex Jones issuing a warning to military and law enforcement. He will also be joining us by phone in a few minutes. Right now, we're going to go to a caller who says he lives down the street from the shooting. His name is Frank in Wisconsin. Frank, you're on the air. Go ahead, sir. Hey, um, I actually worked down the block. I was just over there, actually, and they got all blocked off. The news is everywhere. But, you know, they there was a lady on the news when this happened, and they weren't saying really much of anything. She actually said there was a few people there they were doing the shooting and they saw him drive off the car and um um so who, it's just weird who is this woman who, who are you referring to she was involved with the church um it was on the local uh i believe the local fox channel or nbc i'm not sure so you but, saw um, you saw a video report of this woman saying that she saw multiple shooters who drove off yeah yeah they said they saw him they said they saw a few suspicious people there that day, and um, and the shooting went on, and then um, they saw the car drive away. Wow. Okay. Did you? What did you see there? You say you worked near the location. Were you able to see firsthand any anything about the response team, for example? No, I wasn't. I wasn't working that day. I was at home. Um, but I put the news right away as soon as I heard about it. Um, and. Uh, they didn't say anything for like a whole day uh, All right. about who we got to go to. We got to go to break, Frank. I thank you for your call, for your information. Stay with us here on the Alex Jones Show. A lot more analysis coming straight ahead. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Anyway, here on the Alex Jones Show, thank you for staying with us. We've got the detailed breakdown and analysis of the real story, at least as we are piecing it together. It's obviously developing of the Sikh Temple shooting in Wisconsin. And we've, I've just been handed additional details on the shooter. The links to psychological operations get even deeper. This is thanks to analysis being conducted by InfoWars writers uh, Kurt Nemo and Paul Joseph Watson, who are hard at work digging into the history of the shooter. We've also got Alex Jones joining us now by phone with additional analysis. Is Alex coming through okay? All right, Alex. Hey, how you doing? Mike, thank you for doing the broadcast today, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I came out with videos and said that it could be one of three things. A totally staged false flag event with a patsy they set up in a drill. The video is up at InfoWars.com, where I ask, is the Sikh temple shooting a staged false flag? I said, number two, it could be provocateur, white supremacist, uh, you know, idiot types of the FBI provocateurs, uh, and sets up. Or it could be a lone wolf, because we've seen a few of these attacks, thinking that the Sikhs, who aren't Muslims, by the way, you know, look like the archetypal Central Asian Taliban uh, type uh, with, their, uh, with their turbans. Now, as soon as it came out that he was Army Psyop, everything fell into place. Just like we said with the Colorado shooter, Holmes, if he's under government psychiatrists with military connections, if he's giving government grants, uh, if he had months where he was missing from family, if people report other shooters and people throwing smoke bombs, if there is a drill, if there is gun legislation that's key at the very time, which, of course, there was, then it enters the quadrant of a staged event, okay? And the reason we know this is Operation Northwoods Pentagon document tells how to shoot people in U.S. cities and blame patsies. Operation Ajax did this. Operation Gladio was over. 500 bombings and shootings in Europe in the 60s, 70s, and 80s carried out by NATO. In Europe, every time a political group got uppity, whether they were right-wing or communist, it didn't matter. They would blow up schools, shoot up buses, shoot up police stations, shoot up little kids walking home from school, blow up bus stations. 
to blame their political enemies. I'm here to announce to everyone that, they, that this now is 99% confirmed it as I've been saying the last two years, warning people. Top Democratic operatives in the Financial Times of London, but also in three different internal fundraisers in the last two years, to their donors. Mike, am I coming through good to you? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, all good. Continuing here. This is of maximum import, ladies and gentlemen. They've sent out letters that even Fox News has covered saying, don't worry if Obama's down in the polls. There's going to be state shootings and bombings that are going to help Obama reconnect with the public, and they'll be blamed on our enemies. Now, they don't say they're going to do it. They're one millimeter. But that's how dumb they think we are from saying they'll do it. They just say these attacks will happen. They will be blamed on our enemies. Obama will pose as a savior. That Homeland Security says, prepare for veterans to start bombing and shooting and killing in mass. They are your new enemy. Forget Al Qaeda. They're now the good guys. We're helping them fight Libya and Syria. Hail Al Qaeda. They're helpful and loving. And you know, forget the government got the underwear bomber on the plane, or the Times Square guy was run by a lucky who was admitted Pentagon, Fox News, Associated Press. So again, I'm just giving you a few of the thousands of data points I've got. I'm not exaggerating when I say thousands. Okay, now continuing here. I live this. Listen to me, police and military. This is so important. They are now going to flip Homeland Security against the American people. This is a mayday situation. Now that we've learned that this gentleman was an Army Psychological Warfare officer from the home of Army Psychological Warfare, they've got one base in Florida, but the big one's at Fort Bragg. This is how these work. They have a drill. And the word is from all the trucks, the head of the school, uh, the head of a church, uh, the director, that there were all these weird men around, that the police were there in minutes. Uh, multiple witnesses, not just the one you played, not just the police scanners, but other witnesses have come out saying there were four men shooting. It was coordinated in black uniforms, black head-to-toe dress. Now, how does this work? You have someone who's part of the PSYOP team who thinks they're taking part in a drill. They have drills that are secret where you're seeing if you can face a joint and seeing if police respond, or seeing if you can get weapons through an airport, or seeing if you can get on board and hijack. We know they were running drills out of the Pentagon with the 9-11 hijackers who were training U.S. bases. That all came out the news. But all of that is just ignored. So they get their own agents, just like 7-7 in London, that it turned out was a staged event with a drill, and a, uh, a SWAT, it was MI6, set up the guys. They thought they were taking part in a drill. A fourth group figured it out, ran, got machine gunned at Canary Wharf, that came out in the news. It's always the same M.O. over and over again. So they follow a playbook. If there was a drill, and that's what all the neighbors and locals and witnesses are saying, it's all over the news. If there was a drill, police driving around, all this activity, just like with the Madrid bombings, and it came out that that was a government op, and the government got removed in Spain over the Madrid uh, bombings. Remember that. Look it up, folks, where they blew up an apartment building to get rid of the patches. They drug them, they shoot them, or they bomb the passing. Just like Lee Harvey Oswald, just like Big Bang had a top army psychological warfare chief over him. The number two guy in psych warfare in all of U.S. history, Jolly and West, the main protege of Bunker U and Cameron. Write these names down, police and military. Look it up. You're going to understand this is real. Now, the timing. Five bills to ban all semi-autos, the possession of them, to ban clips above 10 rounds, to register ammo when you buy it at the store, to ban online sales. It's all happening and racing through Congress. The U.N. treaty is not dead. It's just held up for two months. Because it openly said it would ban guns. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact... Now, now, now listen, I said in the video last night, and one this morning, I said it, it could be a crazy right-winger. He's got a, you know, quote, remember 9-11 tattoo on him, who thought these were Muslims. An Army psychological warfare officer is going to know what a Sikh is, who, by the way, are always warring with the uh, Muslims, opposite group, is going to know if he's going to go and kill some Muslims, like Sergeant Bales, who was on a bunch of psychotropics in Afghanistan, which I believe was a mind control test. We know he's under psychiatric care of the Pentagon, and it was sent back begging not to be, and had been running around acting crazy. Police had arrested him, but that had been uh, expunged. So, again, there's no way an Army psychological warfare expert officer mid-level, would not know what Sikhs were if he went crazy. He'd go to a 